Hello friends. Today I am going to explain about the static content bundle rule in Pega. How to create a static content bundle rule? What is the purpose of static content bundle rule? So we will see in this video. So before going to discuss about this rule, so just let me explain about uh, one HTTP request. Let me explain about the HTTP request. For example, if I want to send one request to the www.w3schools.com, for example, when I open my browser, when I open my browser, when I hit www.w3schools.com, what will happen? The request will go to the server, server in the sense here, application server, nothing but Tomcat, Apache, JBoss, Glassfish, Jetty, WebLogic, okay, etc. IBM, WebSphere, like this. And all these application servers are inside the original physical missions. Okay. Uh, just leave it. So if you send any request to your web server, what web server will do? Web server will process your request. So if it is again, it contains a dynamic request, nothing but it is a JSP request or a ASP request or it is a serverless request. It will redirect it to the appropriate engines container engines like serlet engine, ASP engine, etc. or PHP interpreter, JSP. Once the dynamic content is processed by those engines, the static content and dynamic content, dynamic content is processed by those engines, then the response will be sent back to the browser. For example, uh, for example, uh, let me show you a simple web page so your web page contains for example some html code some jsp code and some css code etc when you request send to this own zone server that that will be processed by the your web server your web server will generate a response now see just let me hit this web page why actually i have sent a request to the www.w3schools.com why these many requests are going to the server see the first request is www.w3schools.com only once the request will send to the server, server process the request and generated a response. What is the just response? Just see the response. This is the response coming from the server. This is the response coming from the server when you send a request to a web page. Okay, what immediately browser will do? Actually, the browser will process this response. Browser will interpret this response. So during the interpretation, browser identified, okay, they are sending, okay, this is the font file, this is the CSS file, and this is the JS file, etc. Okay, because the entire response does not contains the CSS file data, or the entire response does not contains the JS file data or images data. Once browser received a response from a server for this request um, during the interpretation browser will send few more requests to the server to get those data that's why browser will send a few more requests browser will send additional requests to get the css file data to get the js file data to get the loader data analytics.js file etc all these things again browser will send request to the server so here, because of this, uh, n number of requests will be sent to the server and get the data. And once browser get the complete response, then browser consolidated all these request response and merge it and interpret it. Then you will get a proper output on your browser screen on your browser screen. That's why sometimes uh, if any one of the request is delayed, if any one of the request is delayed, then you will not see the proper response. Okay, this portion of your web page is loaded, but this portion of your web page is not loaded. Why? Because, because background, n number of requests will be sent to the browser, will be sent by the browser to the server to load this JS files data, CSS files data, 
and images data so that's why it will take time to get or to receive all these request response then consolidate it and merge it and process it then you will get an output on your browser screen if the image size is large even if for example if your image size is large then when you send a request to the www.w3school.com okay this page will be loaded but below image will not be loaded why because the browser will send a separate request to the server to download the image content um, if it is if it is delayed then your web page will not be loaded properly will not be loaded properly so now here what is the slight drawback if you included n number of js files and css files and images and font files the browser will send again those many number of requests to the server that means increasing the traffic to the server obviously obviously it will impact on your page performance obviously it will impact on your page load performance okay so in this situation what i want to suggest is okay if you reduces the number of js calls and css calls to the server obviously it will improve the response obviously it will improve the page load response page load time obviously it will improve the page load time your page will be loaded fast if you if you decreases or if you reduces the number of js calls and css calls and images calls to the server so coming back to the pega even in pega also even in pega also for example this is my portal this is my portal what i am doing is when i just reload this portal it seems like it is api sbi application only one request here also even it is a web application only pega is nothing but a web application even if it is sending a request to your local tomcat because i am using the tomcat first request is this one see the response coming from the tomcat for this first request okay so see the response okay this is the standard activity what is the response this much response i have received from the tomcat server when i send a request to the tomcat for my customer portal see it contains again lot of js files css files etc that's why again browser will send a few more requests browser will send a few more request to the server to load these files to load these files so even in the real time development sometimes you need to create the js files you need to write a javascript code and you need to write a css code to improve the ui let us suppose if you if based on your customer request based on your client request um, you need to design the ui portal very properly at the better look and feel nice features then what shall you do you have to write your own css code or you have to write your js code and that means to write the js and css code you need to create a js files or css files so where will you include these js files or css files obviously in skins or in the harnesses obviously you can include in the skin rules or in the harness or in the html rules are in the html fragment rules in pega we have these many types of rules so usually these are the place holders to include the css files or js files etc so what will happen obviously once pega will send request i mean browser will send a few more request to the pega server to download these js files and css files so in order to reduces the number of request for these js files and css files to the pega server pega provided an option call it as a static bundle content static bundle content see for example here static 
content bundle means uh, it contains internally a number of js files or a number of css files uh, but it will be treated as a single file but it will be treated as a single file so that means browser will send a request to the pega server as a single request um, the pega will gen send this bundle response browser will extracted those js files and css files on the browser side that means a browser will not send additional request to those files for example for example uh, this is my harness customer portal this is my harness so where is my harness okay just open this is my harness resume in this harness i there is a requirement because i have created a five js files and five css files i have created five js files and five css files i am going to include those five js files and css files in the scripts and styles tab of this harness scripts and styles uh, tab of this harness go to the scripts and styles so here what i am going to do i can add n number of js files like this i can add n number of js files similarly here i can add n number of css files then once you send a request to the customer portal customer portal will generate a response that response contains these js files and css files immediately browser will send a few more requests to download the js files and css files instead of that uh, pega provided an option call it as a bundle see here there is an option call it as a bundle so let me create my own bundle i'm i'm creating just my bundle name so already i have created my sbi bundle just click on open my sbi bundle see here this is my sbi bundle even if you want you can go and create your own bundle under the technical category static content bundle here static content bundle click on create so bundle type in this bundle are you going to include the style style files i mean css files or js files i am going to include js files okay this is hello bundle okay i am just selecting this is the application and this is the rule set version click on create and open now here what is the file extension here the file extension is i am just giving js file extension but here it is showing as a uh, see here hello bundle type is a script bund file extension is a js see js css html etc js file what is the file name i am giving the, because i have a lot of js files time being i am just using what is the app name in which folder of pega these js files are present in which folder of the pega because basically all the static contents all the static content files are present in the wb download there is a file call it as a wb 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 basically all the static content of these files are present in this folder even if you want you can create one text file i am just creating one text file so click on create see here by default all these js files and css files and there are different types of file extensions also here all these files are present in which folder app name or directory app name or directory so now i don't want to create any text files if you want you can create it okay so here that's why that's why i'm selecting the app name wb wb here js cs valid etc that's it this is my bundle file hello bundle now what i am going to do instead of including the js files in my harness i have created a one bundle file and i am including this bundle in my harness so this is my harness right yeah 
Maybe is there, is there any hardness? I'm going to include my hardness. Open hardness. My hardness name is customer portal. What happened? Locked. Is not showing in my private checkout. It is not showing anywhere. This is customer portal updated on so and so. On. Okay, why it is locked? Is checkout is enabled? A refresh and lock actions. Okay, so here I have already included my bundle name, but why it is not showing proper? This is not my customer portal. Actually, I have, where is my original customer portal? I have. Everything is open in the same customer portal. Okay, let me open another portal. So let me open another portal. This is like a user portal. or like my portal for example let me take this my portal so in this portal there is a hardness right i will include the hardness so this is my portal so this my portal contains an hardness so hardness name is my portal let me open this hardness Okay, I'm just check out. So here I'm going to include my CSS files. See here, if you have an option bundle, just what is your bundle name? Hello bundle. Hello bundle, that's it. Click on save. Check in. Now do more developer tools, just open.
now what i am going to do is now launching my launching my customer portal see launching my sorry my portal when i click on launch my portal okay so let's launch it first i'll show you later also no problem more tools developer tools okay assuming this is my portal so so here okay let's clear and reload it sometimes it will be loaded from the browser cache also but let's check for uh, our bundle name hello bundle in our request all these request is there any request sent to the brow server for hello bundle just check now here you can see is there any sorry you can see the status verify each and every request Mega expression hello bundle is there any request sent to the hello bundle because i have already included in the my portal harness okay just clear and disable a cache for some time reload it is included or not it is already included right this is a bundle file it is already included so internally it will send a request to the server to download the data instead of too many calls instead of these two js files for example cs valid let's check is there any js file with cs valid no here control f cs valid but my intention is i want to show you that request bundle even there are some see this one pz pega guide static bundle script so actually it will send a request for a bundle and even let's uh, just clear this one okay let's clear this one even here you can just see reload the customer portal let's see is there any requests hmm. 
डिफॉल्ट कॉन्स्टेंट ओके इज देर एनी रिक्वेस्ट फॉर बंडिल However, okay. So remember this: the purpose of that rule is a static content bundle rule is you can include JS and CSS files as a bundle as a bundle so that it will reduce as the number of requests to the server. It will reduce the number of requests to the server. We have a lot of bundle rules in Pega. See this one: we have a lot of bundle rules. static content bundle rules and if you want you can see the references also because these these are the my bundle rules just now i created and see uh, pega ui harness this is also bundle rule it contains how many number of js files see these many js files it contains these many js files are they using this bundle somewhere somewhere any one of the harness or any one of the html rule or html fragment rule or skin rules they are referring see this one they are referring from the html fragment rules they are referring from the html fragment rule open any one of the html fragment rule how they are referring instead of including these many js files just they are including one bundle rule they are using with the static tag in pega we have a one in pega we have a one tag jsp colon static there is a one tag by using that you can include that so here just go through it see this one pega static type script app web similarly what is this bundle rule pega ui harness they are referring this fund pega okay here there is a search option pega underscore ui underscore harness not found see this one pega colon static colon type script app bundle name pega ui harness so like this uh, they will include this similarly if you want you can include your bundle name in the html fragment rules or if you want you can include that bundle rules in the uh, your harness files harness rules okay so not only js files if you want you can create your bundle rules for uh, css files as well not only for script files you can add your bundle for css files as well so go to your my portal uh, so here there is an option style sheets so there you can mention n number of css files but uh, here if you want you can create a bundle file if you want you can create a bundle file not only for scripts you can create a bundle file for css files as well css files as well so the main intention of the static content bundle rule is you can read